Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to African Sub TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline Silent killings uncovered. Muslim jihadists slaughter 700 Christians, demolish churches across Nigeria as farewell to Buhari. Once again, you're welcome to today's news. I thank you for tuning into this channel. Kindly listen to the hand. The news details. Jihadist Fulani Edsman said farewell to the authorities of Nigeria who commemorated the end of their civil terms in power on May 29, 2023 by slaying at least 700 defenseless Christians in May 2023, the month of Andover. The International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law conducted a thorough study and discovered that between May 15 and May 17, 2023, 300 or more Christians were killed in Plato states. The second worst affected state is Benue, where at least 110 Christians were killed between May and early June 2023, including 40 killed between June 3 and 4, and 18 defenseless Christians who were hacked to death on May 21, along with 28 others killed between May 7 and May 10. Between 12 April and 12 June 2023, more than 190 Christian fatalities were attributed to Benue State. In Kaduna, the third worst affected state, at least 100 Christians were killed between April 12 and June 12, 2023. The massacre of 33 Christians by jihadist Fulani Edsman on April 15, 2023 at Rungi village in Atiap, Zango Kataf local government area of Kaduna State, during which 42 homes were burnt down and destroyed, was one of the farewell gifts that the outgoing government of Kaduna State supported. Between March and April 2023, at least 68 Christians were killed in Atiap land alone. And on April 4, fewer than, on, fewer than 10 Christian school children were kidnapped and held captive by jihadists from government secondary school, Avon, in Kashia local government area of Kaduna State. The Southern Kaduna People Union claims that in the six years between 2017 and 2023, at least 245 southern Kaduna localities have been forcibly overrun and seized by Fulani terror jihadists. No less than 38 Christians living in the Takalafia and Gwanja villages in the Nasarawa State Karo local government area were hacked to death by marauding headsmen on Thursday night, May 14, 2023. Jihadists murdered 1,100 Christians in 60 days and 2,150 in the first 160 days of 2023, 1st of January to 12th of June. Between 12 April and 12 June 2023, the Nigerian government backed Islamic jihadists, killed at least 1,100 defenseless. Christians by hacking them to death, or an average of 17 Christians each day. The time period under study also includes one of Nigeria's worst periods for anti-Christian assaults. 
the breakdown of the 1,100 Christian deaths in 60 days reveals that Plato State is the worst affected with 350 Christian deaths. Plato State is followed by Benue with 200 deaths, Kaduna with 100, Nasarawa with 62, Niger with 50, and the East with 50 related to ethnic and religious killings by police and military personnel. Churches were attacked in Adamawa states as well, notably on May 24, 2023, when two pastors were kidnapped in Yola. In the states of Benue, Saraba, Bornu, Yobe, Katsina, Zamfara, Nasarawa, and Kogi, several churches and hundreds of Christian households had suffered catastrophic assaults. In all, there had been over 100 church attacks, burnings, or destruction between April 12 and June 12, 2023. Similar jihadist assaults on churches occurred in southern Kaduna and other regions of the state, notably Chiku, where on May 7, 2023, 40 Christians were kidnapped as a Chikung church by Fulani, Fulani jihadists. So, um, um, killing of Christians has actually been going on, most especially in the northern part of Nigeria, and it has been covered up during the um, Buhari administration. But um, 700, um, yeah, approximately 700 Christians has been killed, um, churches has been demolished and burnt down, and this was um, this happened actually between the time Buhari actually wanted to hand over power to uh, the president of Nigeria now, Bola Metinubu. So the jihadist Fulani headsman has actually said their farewell to the authorities of Nigeria who commemorated the end of their civil terms in power on May 29, 2023, because um, Buhari was actually, it was his people, so he did not attend to cases like that very well when he was the president of Nigeria. So uh, when Buhari was actually leaving, the jihadists actually used that as a farewell, that since they are leaving power, so they slayed at least 700 defenseless Christians in just that uh, month of Andover, that is May 2023. So, um, the International Society for Civil Liberties has actually conducted a thorough study and discovered that between May 15 and 17, 300 or even more Christians were killed in Plato states. That Plato states is the one we having the high number of um, killings of Christians by this jihadist and um, the Fulani Edmund. The second worst affected um, is Benue where Christians uh, were being killed, at least one thing uh, Christians were killed between the um, space of May and early June 2023. So including the 40 killed between June 3 and 4 and 18 defenseless Christians who were hacked to death on May 21, along with 28 others that were killed. So followed by um, Plato is the worst, followed by Benue. Uh, after Benue, the third is Kaduna, now, where at least 100 Christians were killed between April 12 and June 12, that's in space of one month. Um, after um, Kaduna is actually, um, after Kaduna State is actually Plato, wait, Plato is the first, pardon, followed by Benue, followed by Kaduna, and then Nasarawa and Niger, and also the East, where this full and men has been killing people due to ethnic and religious killings by police and military personnel. So we hope that Sinobo actually help us look into the case of this jihadist and Fulani headsman so it doesn't get so bad and the killings actually reduce in Nigeria. What's your view concerning this news? Kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates.